<laughs> so welcome to episode four of the Rock Behind the Roll. Um, in the last video, we mentioned at the start that we'd answer any questions that come in. So we've had a really good question come in from Selena Turner, which uh, I'm very interested to hear the answer to. Um, and she asked the following. Please ask your mum if she remembers the photo shoot for the first Steps album cover that took place at her home. Mac claimed that she spiked the punch with wood grain alcohol, unbeknown to them, which resulted in a broken table and a hanging light fixture. Um, Katie Lane. <laughs> well, take it away. Um, it sounds pretty much true to me. <laughs> I do have queries about the wood alcohol but that is quite conceivable yes and I can only think that the light fitting and the table had something to do with me dancing on the table because I used to do quite a bit of that and also low slung lights must have gone in the way. It must have been pretty low slung because much like me you're about five foot on a good day aren't you? Well I was five foot two. <laughs> All right stop bragging. Right, eh? <laughs> uh, and Max Recall is interesting because, according to his book, apparently I used to boil Ronnie's suits. But I didn't, in fact, though I hate to blow that myth. He liked wearing boiler suits. <laughs> so sorry, chaps. Not quite as interesting as uh, Mac would have liked, but God bless him. Good. So, so there you go. So, uh, Selena, we hope you're happy with the answer there. Now, what we're going to do here is we floated on Facebook a few days ago about mum giving us a story this week from the passing show, and we got a very good reaction to that. So this should be good. And I, I'm interested because I don't know an awful lot about it myself. So what we've decided to do is mum's going to give us some of the passing show, and I believe you're going to go from, from the start. Is that right, mum? Yeah, I reckon. Cool. You go for it then. OK, well, the whole idea was something that I had in my head when I was around about, I don't know, 15? And I'd read a book somewhere about this travelling show that was done in the 1800s, and it just uh, captivated me. And the idea sort of zoomed around in my head for a long while. And then... Uh, the original idea was to do it all horse-tall, naturally, you know, being very practical. <laughs> You'd have been popular on the roads. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, I, I like the idea of it being kind of slow and unfolding as it went. Um, but when I had a... When I had Ronnie with me and we, we got together outside of our usual relationship, which was good friends up until that point, I shared this idea with him and he really liked it so I thought okay now where where can we really take this what do we want to do with it so he kind of blew the uh, <laughs> the caravan cavalcade out of the water he wasn't up for horses no <laughs> no he, he wasn't that keen on that part of things but he did like the general scenario I was depicting in my head how old would you have been at this time then just uh, so for, oh so god uh, when I was, oh, lordy, what would I have been? When we got back from India, I was 19, 21, 20, okay. probably 22, okay. maybe 23. Yeah, 23, I guess. OK. But uh, when he, this was part of the reason why he left the faces because he was unhappy with where it was going because he'd, He'd outgrown that part of his career. He didn't want to do the hotels and and planes and being sort of transported from one venue to the mm. next, never experiencing a damn thing. So it worked out well that he decided then when he was going to split the faces, leave them and uh, start his own thing. Mm. So what better way to launch it with a wizard wheeze? like the travelling show. And uh, that's exactly what we did. We uh, we hung out with Chipperfield Circus and we hung out with showmen in general, the fairground lot, whoever, wherever. Chipperfields were really, really helpful. They were sweet to us. And so we picked up some basic knowledge from our, the way they 
worked it out. But also, we were given the, the number of this guy called Wally Lockins. <laughs> and Wally Lockins... With a name like that, he sounds ace. He, he was a little dodgy, really. You know, <laughs> Wally e. Lockins was more like it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, in good faith, uh, we called him up and said, well, you know, we want to launch our show. What can you provide us with? And he could provide us with a big top. <laughs> and uh, along with that, you got the clowns, the Dawes family. And I has to be said at this point, they were the worst clowns ever. <laughs> I mean, unfunny to the point of being almost brilliant. <laughs> and I think we also got, we got, with that particular deal, I think we got the... Uh, the Fire Eaters. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. El Zippos. <laughs> El Zippos were a right triumph because Johnny and Jackie <laughs> had a very... <laughs> a very volcanic relationship. <laughs> very fitting. Um, <laughs> seriously, it was wonderful because Johnny was the original um, heartbreaker, you know. He was absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. And Jackie was desperately mad to keep him happy and keep him keen at all events because, you know, he was hot stuff. Literally, sorry about the pun on that <laughs> one. And uh, also their other act was the... <laughs> was the knife throwing. <laughs> <laughs> knife throwing with your, uh, you with your partner who's done with your head in that day. kind of, you know, somewhat, <laughs> somewhat dodgy relationship. So we got them, so I think that that was what we got with the tent. That's a bargain. Oh, we thought we'd died and gone to heaven, mate. And we thought, well, that's that sorted straight away, isn't it? So what more do we need? Vehicles. Oh, guess what? Old Luckins comes up with <laughs> trumps again. Well, if, if anyone come to me, even in this day and age, and said, oh, um, I've got a rock star who wants to start a travelling circus, you're going to rub your hands together, let's be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, Ronnie did like old-fashioned vehicles, so he was up for anything, particularly as uh, they've got character, because they've got noses. Right, right. yeah. Your old motors, they really have got a, a certain character. So Wally Luckin said, well, look, you know, I can provide you with uh, a dormobile kind of van affair and uh, <laughs> several Land Rovers and something indescribable as a van. <laughs> Big van. He just thought it was a van. All pre-war. Natch. Nice. So <laughs> they were really meant to be in a museum. <laughs> but we were thrilled because it all added this tremendous... Yeah, a nice sort of bit of character. ...feeling yeah. to the whole thing, which was going to be... You know, pretty dilapidated in general because it was going to be chaos. I mean, looking back, it was obvious, but no, nothing would daunt our spirits. That's why I'm bring it on. And what else did we get with this deal from Molly? I don't think we got a lot more. I think we picked up things on the way, which I shall reveal at a later date. <laughs> but this was the start. We got the beginning of a travelling circus. No animals, apart from our dog that sort of wandered on and off <laughs> in the ring, you know, obviously being the, the animal <laughs> the animal sensation of the night. <laughs> but, uh, yes, that's how we started it. So there'll be more to come when I can uh, make it reasonably concise because there's so much of it that I want to, um, I want to paint the scene so you can kind of be there and then remember things that happened consequently and there were a lot and I don't have to change the names to protect the innocent because <laughs> none of us were. <laughs> Gullible, yeah. Joyful, absolutely. Wise, not a bit of it. Not at all. So so what you're saying, if, if we've, we've got it there. So um, for everyone listening, if you want to hear the next chapter of The Passing Show... Yeah. to lead on from there, please let us know. And if any of you were fortunate enough to go to it, 
um, please mention it because, uh, like Mum said previously, these uh, the comments help jog a memory and more stories come out. And I, yeah. I want to get more of this out of here. So, okay, it, it's a good way to do it because uh, that's how this works. Really, somebody jogs my memory, and then this door opens. I think, oh my god, I forgot more about that. So yeah, that'd be grand if you can put any input as as to if you if you were one of the sacred few. <laughs> <laughs> that actually came along before it <laughs> before it sort of dishevelled into oh well put it this way <laughs> we filled up a few uh, scrap yards methinks <laughs> and on that note I'll leave you for now.